Hey gamers, it's Winnie here from Grinding This Game, back with this uh, tube challenge for oxygen not included. Last episode, we were able to get into this room and quickly build a vent uh, to get some oxygen in there so that we could start using this natural gas. So I'm thinking that we build something like this a little polluted water pit, I think. Something like this. Actually, it doesn't need to be that big. Made a mess. Where was that? Who's making a mess? We got good working operational toilets right here. You can use them. We don't mind. He couldn't walk to here, I guess. It's just too... too far. Oh, wait a minute. Lavatory not pumping. Why not? Why are they not pumping? Why does it not say ready? Oh man. When did that get deconstructed? Uh, okay, the bathrooms are back in back in action. And we got pee everywhere. Pee there, pee there. Oh, it's everywhere. Be there. Food has decayed. So we're going to put a natural gas generator right here. It's going to put polluted water in here because we don't want it mixing with the oil. And then we need a pump. Oh, we're going to need a whole separate power circuit here. Maybe a pump here, pump, filter, into there, oh that's got to go around, in there, everything else there, oh they're suffocating, need to pump more oxygen in there. So priority seven, all this. And we're going to need a little power thing to get it all going. A separate manual generator. Oh, we got some nice wire here we could be using. Look at that delicious wire. Oh, we want it, don't want to deconstruct it right now. That could be a disaster. I gotta move this over one. Okay, this power circuit will just be to get everything primed and ready. Battery. That'll go there, that'll go there. And there. Okay, gotta make sure we're not sucking all the oxygen out of this room. Uh, it looks okay. I think we have enough in there. We can turn this off. So we'll burn up all this natural gas. Clear the room, fill this with oxygen, and then think about using the oil for something. Okay, it took them a very long time to build all this. They're busy doing other stuff, but finally they did. And now the generator, generator is idle. Oh, there it goes. So that's good. These two vents are overpressurized, but once it burns through some of this natural gas, it should work. Insufficient resources. Might take a while to get through all that uh, natural gas in this state. Add another battery. Let's do this. We'll go down one more floor. Put some more batteries in. We'll just cook this room. That way that natural gas generator can run a bit more. Now, I think it might not be working because of these 
vents being overpressurized. CO2 has nowhere to go. I built some fridges here as well because there's lots of CO2 here. Should keep everything sterile. Guess we'll build a rock granulator up here so we can make a high pressure vent. That way we can get this thing going, because right now these vents are no good. It's too high pressure in this room. Okay, now we have enough uh, refined copper to put a high pressure vent here for that CO2 to get out. And with that, we should be able to use up uh, this natural gas. In theory. Now, I, th I think it's okay if this one's overpressurized from the filter. Come on, Nicola. Yay! Finally, it's running. That took a very long time. Okay, it stopped again. No, what's going on? Do I need a high pressure vent here too? I shouldn't. It should still work, I think. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It's gonna get very warm in here. But we had to get rid of this natural gas. There's so much of it in here. I wonder if it needs a high pressure vent here to work. We can make one. We have the plastic, we have the technology. Just need some more copper. Okay, now we can put that high pressure vent on there. I think that's what was holding it back. Okay, there it goes, so that was the problem. Just needed that uh, high pressure vent there. Now eventually it'll suck all this natural gas out of this room. do some exploration down here too. How hot is it in here? 50 degrees. They might not like that. I'll come back once this natural gas has been cleared out of here. Okay, so what I've done here is lead he heavy watt wire all the way through this circuit here and I put in a pump and a thermal aqua tuner and what this thing does is it pumps this hot oil just in a loop so it sucks it into the pump sends it into the thermal aqua tuner it drops in temperature so it's going in at 46 it's coming out at 32 and it eventually will co cool all this oil and cool this room. So what we can do, in theory, is set up our oxygen production in here eventually. So we'll get cold oxygen, we'll be able to send that out and cool down anywhere we need to cool. So that'll, because this is starting to overheat as you can see. And this will just get hotter and hotter and eventually we'll get heat death. But if we can set up a cooling operation in here, then we'll eventually be able to cool the whole base, I think. This is a lot of oil to cool down, but I think it'll eventually do it. Now what I need to do is set up another natural gas generator so this thing isn't browning out all the time. I'm going to do something like this. Hopefully this oil doesn't get trapped on top. High stress. Uh-oh. Camille. Actually, Camille, get out of here. Camille, you're not allowed to do anything can no longer do anything except massage. And power, I guess. Camille, yeah, go, go relax. Oh, Frankie's on the table. 
Uh, we need another table. Let's get Frankie off there so Camille can go on there. Oh, that's not going to work. I guess she just needs to sleep. Stress is going up. Let's get our paintings back in here. Interesting that she's sleeping. Okay, Nicola. Let's change the settings on this table. So we're up at 60. Then Nicola get off. There we go. Camille, de-stress yourself. Relax. It's getting warm in here. Look at this, 40 degrees. Uh. So once this is built, we'll extend the blue water trap down, put in another natural gas generator, and then this thing will run non-stop. Okay, it took a while to build, but they got this second natural gas generator online. So, this thing's not browning out anymore. And I'm trying to seal it off with sandstone, so at least this is the part that stays cool. Uh, some heat will leak through here, but that'll be okay. It's going to take a, quite a while to cool this down, though. Now I did see a build where if you're dripping it on metal tile it cools down even quicker. So we might try that instead. Deconstruct this vent. Try to put a metal tile in there. Right, right here maybe? And then uh, drip it right here. I don't know if that'll work. Might not be enough clearance. Guess we'll find out. Guess we don't need that tile there. High stress. Devin, go chill out somewhere. Oh, there's no oxygen in here anymore. Uh oh. Not a good place to sleep, guys. You don't want to sleep there. Oh, they're not going to be able to breathe soon. We do have oxygen coming in, though, now. Okay, let's see if this makes a difference. It's cooling down. We'll let that run for a while, see how it goes. The natural gas in here is going to be gone pretty soon, though. Well, maybe not. We've got 8 kilograms over here. Let's shut off that oxygen. Actually, we have a lot of carbon dioxide in here. Holy moly. Okay, that's not good. How are we going to deal with that? I never really thought about the carbon dioxide before. I guess we could, for now, pump it out of here to our carbon skimmer. Okay, let's set up an LG deoxidizer in here, maybe. Then we can use this channel for CO2. Set of oxygen. Take out this bridge. I think this is like trying to boil the ocean. So much oil, we're never gonna cool it down.
And all this machinery is just probably going to keep it all warm. Uh, hmm. Actually, we don't have to worry about the CO2 just yet. We can let it build up a bit more. Up to 20 kilograms, actually. I guess we'll send some of the CO2 over to the skimmer. That's warm CO2, but it should get destroyed. So I'll come back in a bit once that's uh, all done. Okay, so that algae deoxidizer was a bad idea because it overpressurized. It can't make oxygen in here. So I'm putting my vent back in. So we'll send oxygen into this room. And we'll just let the CO2 build up, I guess. Eventually all this natural gas is going to get used up and we'll tear all this down, but... Maybe I'll come back when that's all done. Okay, so we've used up almost all the natural gas in here. There's little specks of it left. But it's pretty much gone, so... Time to deconstruct these natural gas generators. Uh-oh, we made a mess in here. No. Really bad place to have it. We don't want it messing up our cooling system here. Food shortage. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why? We got tons of food here. Higher priority, maybe? Now, these are messed up, but these should be good. Okay, Camille, you're back on duty. Now that you're de-stressed. Okay, let's get these pumps out of here. We don't need them anymore. Or at least disable it. Let's disable this <laughs> for now. You must all concentrate on food. Ooh, super high stress. Devin. Devin, get out of there. Okay, you're not allowed to do anything. Except massage. Really stressing out. Okay, we'll let them just get food and chill out. So next episode, I think I'll set up some manual generators in here just to power this cooling system. And that's hopefully after many cycles, this will cool down. And then we can use that, this cool room to cool oxygen and we can pump the cool oxygen throughout the base. That's the plan. But for now, I'm gonna have to wrap up this episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.